you got three things turn walk pull you turned but then you ran backwards so you did one of those three completely backwards which eliminated the others from working so turn walk pull you got to get all three you should have turned to the right walked into the wind and then gentle right break ease off the left break limp arms very relaxed boom glider would fly right up perfectly there you go lift lift beautiful brakes brakes left break left break right hand up there you go easy relax the arms weight of your arms on the brakes very nice very nice when you stall it that's exactly what you do throw your hands to zero run backwards as soon as it surges and reloads boom right back to loaded so very very safe glider especially when you do this all day to where you feel the stall point and know that when it breaks in the stall and you feel your brakes go mushy, boom, hands up, and it instantly recovers. Same thing flying. If you were to get slammed with something and you feel the brakes go mushy, whoa, hands up, and then recover from the, the surge, boom. And it'll be automatic, just reflexes, freaking cool as can be. Bob and weave to the left, walk to the water to the left, under the teardrop, bam, see it fixed instantly, instantly with no hands. So that's how critical your lean and walk is. If you can control the glider with no hands, imagine if you skip leaning and walking, you, you just lost 66% of your control and the 33% won't work because if the glider goes a little bit farther, well, you're gonna have to bury the brake. You'll literally stall the glider instead of correct it. So you have to have the lean and walk correctly or the brake ain't gonna work other than just going like a few feet to the side. So when the glider's in front of you, it's a turn walk pull. When the glider's above you, it's a lean walk pull. Glider falls to the side, as soon as it hits the ground, it's in front of you. Turn walk pull instead of lean walk pull. And twisting. Okay. And now we can do a run and jump. So now there's four steps. Notice the glider's holding your butt up. If you throw your hands up, you're gonna fall backwards. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna throw your hands up, Wait to your, no, 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 don't do it yet. No, we're gonna walk you through the steps. So what we're gonna do is don't put your hands all the way up because you lose control. You're just gonna go up like three inches, two, three inches. So what's gonna happen, you're gonna put your hands up quickly because we're trying to unload the glider. Your body starts falling backwards. When you fall about four inches, run backwards. When you run backwards, the glider's then gonna go back in front of you and lift you. When it lifts you, jump. Once you're in the air and you're coming down, pull brakes all the way to the ground. Once you land, go into a slide, recover from the slide. So it's gonna be hands up, fall, run, jump, break to the ground, hands back up. So here we go, hands up, two inches, fall, run, jump. Break, 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 hands up, hands up, hands up. Yeah, feel that. So don't get in the airplane and immediately hit full throttle by grabbing the accelerators. These are accelerators. You're just gonna move your hands up and put your hands near the accelerators, but don't hit the accelerators. See how you just hit the accelerators? You grabbed them, immediately pulled them. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. So they've gotta be completely limp and keep that same droop of tension. So you either go or don't go. When you're ready, and only when you're ready, then you hit the accelerators. There's two. One is moving your butt backwards. That's an accelerator. Two is putting pressure and lifting the A's. And you're moving too jerky. And when you do move, you're bouncing. You're putting too much effort. Instead of being just lazy man, like you're sitting in a lounge chair, you're like getting a workout. <laughs> if your heart rate is up, Something ain't right. It should be like napping. And the glider's just holding you there in your lounge chair. So smooth it up. Same things, what you're doing is correct. Just smooth it up, okay. smooth it. Now, the walk, smooth, smooth. You can't have bouncing. When I say run, I don't mean run. I mean this. Okay. Smooth, no sharp edges. So when you stop, it's not a stop, it's a deacceleration, like that. There's no uh, jerk to it. It's smooth, and that will smooth the glider up, and all of a sudden the glider's gonna do what you tell it, because it won't be shaking. So if you don't beat the glider, smooth. Just pull what it takes to control it without beating it to death. Go for it. 